full idea. But let's talk about markets a little ahead with uh, Sampath Reddy joining us from Pune. Uh, Sampath, uh, afternoon, good chatting. This time you're coming after a long gap, but uh, uh, how do you see the triggers, uh, especially the worries of war now ebbing? But US CPI data on Thursday perhaps will be important. Do you think all of that, but gradually all of that is now getting into the price, at least Indian market? Uh, yes, I think, uh, Jai, in fact, if you see the Indian market as such, has been, uh, you know, one of the best performing market globally. And uh, that is partly due to because of our better macros. Uh, we are still one of the best, uh, we still have one of the best GDP growth, you know, even closer to 7%. And uh, our inflation problem, more sure, inflation problem is not less of a body for us in India, unlike, you know, most of the global markets. Uh, because of that, I think, you know, India has performed very well, uh, you know, and uh, it, I think it will continue to outperform uh, with, with most other global emerging markets. Uh, just that, even even in our, our, our weight of, of the overall emerging market, uh, MSCI indices, etc., has improved quite uh, sharply in the last two years. So because of that, we'll continue to attract more and more, you know, uh, foreign flows as well. So overall, you know, India is in a very strong way with most other emerging markets, and especially even with the developed market. It's just that, uh, overall, you know, when the interest rates are going up uh, across the world, including India, and also when the liquidity is receding, uh, you know, these are the headwinds that you know, which are there for the markets right now. And maybe, you know, we are coming to the fag end of the interest rate uh, hiking cycle. So with that, I think, you know, uh, uh, maybe, you know, there could be a subdued performance across the globe and across the equity markets uh, for some more time, maybe a couple of, you know, months more or whatever uh, there about. Uh, but I think sometime, you know, middle of the next year, you know, 2023 next year, uh, we could see the interest rates speaking out and, you know, probably some of the, you know, rate, uh, you know, rate hike, uh, which are, which one there would be reversed. I think by then we could, you know, be really getting into the very long uh, bullish equity market for India. I think that's how I see that. Uh, as you see that, you know, I mean, uh, in spite of the, uh, uh, you know, to some, some extent, you know, in the, you know uh, the interest rate rise, which has been there in the last few months, you know, some of this is already being absorbed by the market in the form of, I would say, nearly flattish equity performance in the last 12 months. And, you know, maybe, you know, the pain for one or two more, uh, you know, months or maybe a couple of quarters could be, the, the max could be there. But I think post that we could see a very strong bull market for equities. Right. Sampath, uh, how do you see the quality of earnings this time round? Of your own portfolios, are you know this satisfactory? And especially about the outlook they have given, the outlook most of the managements have given for next two quarters. Right. I think uh, you know from the earnings as such, if you look at for FI23, we are coming back on a very strong growth in the FI21 and 22. So overall, corporate earnings have done exceptionally well in the last uh, two financial year. Uh, keeping that in the base effect in mind, uh, earnings growth I would still think is you know, satisfactory. Even though at the beginning of the financial year, you know, growth estimate for FY23 was closer to 18-20%, uh, and now the growths are, you know, probably closer to around 18-20%. But that is the reduction in the growth estimate for FY23 is largely, I think, is because of the commodity prices, and you know, especially if you see the steel companies and the aluminum companies, which are commodity companies, with the price drop, I think their, you know, earnings have you know, uh, come down substantially. If you take out uh, these one or two uh, exceptions. I think earnings growth is broadly in line with expectation, which is what I would think. Uh, especially the growth on the uh, earnings side, uh, on, uh, on the banking side has been exceptionally good. In fact, they are better than estimates. You know, some of the, you know, as you were mentioning in the, you know, ESU banks as such, have done very well in terms of both in the growth and as well as on the asset quality. Across the board, the asset quality in the banking sector has been very good. Uh, uh, and uh, you know even the guidance seems to be quite good for the next couple of quarters. So the uh, you know banking has done very well, and uh, you know IT sector also I would think is in line with expectations to grow uh, in, in terms of uh, on its growth wise. But out of, outside of this, you know these two seg segments, you know when maybe some consumer companies have also done well. But you know outside of this, uh, you know there has been slight disappointment I would say. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, overall in total, I would think an uh, earnings growth uh, is made for earnings growth that has come so far for the quarter has been quite satisfactory. Sampath, what is the sense you are getting on the market cycle? The reason I ask you this is because now the earnings are over. Uh, big, big macro worries, which is holding back 
of pressurizing uh, the market world over seem to be getting priced in as you just said government is pressing on ahead with the reforms and at least the commentary of bulk of the capital good companies or even bankers who lend to these companies seem to be suggesting that capital good cycle and capex in india is coming back are we paving a way in the next 6 8 months for a new bull cycle to start or it is too early to say that uh i would think so ajay i mean uh, especially you know the capital equipment side and capital spending side you know we've been uh, you know there has not been much of uh, expenditure in the past 3 4 years i would say the capital formation i mean capex uh, led growth in the last 3 4 years was relatively absent i think with the with the kind of capacity flexion that we are seeing and the kind of you know the measures that have been taken in the form of pli scheme etc and the terms of manufacturing push you know we think that you know capex cycle is on the cusp of the recovery and some of it is also partly aided by the you know some you know some of the manufacturing opportunities coming to the india given the you know kind of you know the geopolitical issues that we are you know, one is seeing with the china all of these factors are i think leading to a, a very good uh, you know uh, bullish uh, you know trend for the capital equipment makers is, uh, I, that's what i would think is happening sampath which end of the market Uh, are you most confident on on the earnings trajectory? Not immediately, but even three four years, and combine it with how does the risk reward valuation of that pocket appear to you right now? I think in terms of you know visibility of earnings growth, you know is very very strong in the case of BFSI, especially the banking sector. I mean uh, you know credit growth is also picking up very nicely. We are around sixteen seventeen percent credit growth. and asset quality works are totally behind most of the balance sheets are uh, you know very very clean in terms of banking sector so the visibility of the earnings wise you know the strongest i would think in the case of banking sector uh, and not only that you know the overall you know the kind of weight the banking sector has in the broader indices you know that is actually helping the you know keeping overall profit in your you know the larger market uh, earnings as such in terms of very i would say you know, structural upward kind of a trend that is one sector which is doing good and the it is also getting you know delivered decent numbers and also you know with the kind of appreciation that we have seen recently i think numbers in the near term for it sector also will continue to be good uh, and in terms of valuation as such you know pharma has been uh, you know uh, you know because of its relative underperformance in the last few years i think you know coming to a Uh, and i would say in a relatively attractive zone in terms of uh, the valuation as such for the pharma sector we also like uh, you know the uh, new age sectors especially in the uh, you know i would say more like you know qsr kind of uh, format where you know, the profitability is already very well uh, entrenched these are the sectors which we like uh, in india as such it's just that you know with the interest rates are going up overall uh, and we you know that will obviously have some impact on the You know, the valuation of the market as such. Uh, if you see uh, Ajay as such, you know, uh, generally about a one percent rise in interest rate. You know, if you put that in up to the you know, cost of capital and you know try to do your DCF, you know, depending on you know uh, growth and the cash flows of the companies, you know, that would typically have an impact of about ten to you know fifteen percent in, in terms of valuation. Uh, you know, this impact will be much bigger for you know the you know the, I would say new age company. Where you know the growth, where the where the growth is very high, and the profits are you know the you know the back end the companies such as in this space you know today they are not making profits, but in the you know especially e-commerce and fintech companies you know they are not making profits today, but you know they are likely to make a very good big profits in somewhere in the future, in the ten fifteen years down the line. You know especially for these kind of companies, the cash flows are a lot more back end. So you know companies such as these uh, will have a relatively a larger impact uh, you know when the interest rates are going up in terms of valuation wise uh, you know i mean uh, you know you know in a low growth company or companies who are, who are already making a very good cash flows you know maybe some of the utility companies or some of the consumer companies if you see and uh, you know and with the interest rate moving up you know the valuation impact will be relatively smaller for these kind of companies so at this juncture with the you know with the interest rates being high uh, you know you would normally see value performing better you know, which is what is actually happening in the in the, in the last uh, you know, couple of months or so you know uh, uh, because of the rising interest rate i think this trend will continue with, uh, for some more time you know, once the interest rates begin to soften uh, somewhere you know you know middle of 2023 uh, 
you know, we will see this, you know, again, the, you know, the growth companies that are, you know, which probably come back in the four. Sambat, one last question is on the mid cap and small cap end of the market. Do you think mid cap universe small cap is trading at good valuations right now, attractive valuations versus the earnings quality? Because till some time back it had become very frothy, all of that is cleansed now. I think a large part of that is done. I think, you know, I mean, very near term, you know, uh, for, you know, next, you know, you know, couple of quarters, I would still think. I will go with the you know larger exposure towards larger cap oriented companies. As I said, you know, I mean, because of the tightening of uh, interest rates, uh, you know, we could see a little bit of headwind in the very near term. But from a longer term perspective, beyond that, you know, I think mid caps would also offer a you know, you know, better, a better, I would say, a risk reward. But very near term, you know, I would position more towards the large cap oriented companies. I think uh, somewhere down the line, we will look to shift you know, the weight uh, towards the mid cap oriented companies. All right, Sampath, thanks very much for your time. Always enjoy chatting with you. Let's take a short break, but before that, also here.